Welcome to this demonstration of the Welch Allen CP150 electrocardiograph, reviewing the device's key features and optional capabilities. The CP150 is simple, fast, and connected, designed to help you improve efficiency and streamline workflows. Let's begin. With optional adult and pediatric means ECG interpretation, you will receive a globally recognized algorithm for automatically interpreting ECG results. With optional wireless capabilities, you will receive a built-in 802.11 radio, which allows greater device flexibility and utilization. With optional spirometry, you will receive a spirometry kit, which mounts on the back of the device. With the optional DICOM feature, the device comes with out-of-the-box connectivity capability to a DICOM server without the need for middleware. For current device owners, you have the ability to upgrade your existing CP150 to make it DICOM compatible. Let's familiarize ourselves with the unit. As you can see, the CP150 has a very simple layout with a touchscreen interface that is modern and intuitive. In fact, 94% of users surveyed say the touchscreen display and simple user interface have helped them improve practice efficiency. It has a built-in printer, which prints out the results on A4-sized paper. The device contains four USB sockets, one mini USB, and one Ethernet connector for wired connectivity. The main screen of the CP150 is divided into three areas. At the top, the device status displays patient information, connectivity status, messages, and more. The content area in the middle displays buttons to initiate various ECG test types. And at the bottom, you'll see a tab-based navigation area. If you're using optional spirometry, the spirometry button appears on the screen. If you're using optional wireless capability, you will see a radio icon with signal strength in the status bar. We will now go through several workflow examples, both in a connected and a non-connected environment. In a non-connected environment, patient demographics will need to be entered by the clinician conducting the test. To initiate an ECG test, touch the Auto ECG button and the patient information screens appear. Enter patient information. To prepare for the test, attach the leads to the patient. Please remember the most common ECG problems are caused by poor electrode contact and loose leads. Any flashing dots on the ECG preview screen indicate unattached leads. You can also switch between lead views as desired during ECG acquisition. Press Next if you are satisfied with the captured result and want to print it. Or press Retest if you want to run the test again. Then press Print. With optional means interpretation, a summary will also be printed at the top. Now you will be prompted to save the test. The CP150 offers multiple options for saving. However, in a non-connected environment, the most relevant choices will be local memory on the device or PDF to a USB drive. After the test has been saved, a message appears in the message bar at the top to confirm the test has been saved. Any tests saved in the local device memory can be retrieved by going to the Saved Test tab. In a connected environment, the patient work list is automatically populated in the device from a DICOM work list server. To initiate an ECG test, touch ECG and the work list automatically downloads the list of patients scheduled for ECGs. Choose the patient. Review patient information. To prepare for the test, attach leads to the patient. Please remember the most common ECG problems are caused by poor electrode contact and loose leads. Touch record. Press next if you are satisfied with the captured result or press retest if you want to run the test again. Then press print. With optional means interpretation, a summary will also be printed at the top. Now you will be prompted to save the test. The CP150 offers multiple options for saving. However, in a connected environment, the most relevant choices will be workstation, which proxies for a DICOM image server, or a remote folder. Any of these choices can be set as default for autosave. After the test has been saved, a message appears in the message bar at the top to confirm that the test has been saved. At this time, the test can be viewed on your DICOM viewer. Alternatively, you can print using the internal printer and save a PDF copy to a network folder. 
In addition to auto ECG, you can run a rhythm test by pressing the rhythm or continuous icon on the main screen. This feature allows the clinician to continuously print a patient's ECG. Select rhythm and press start. Touch stop once complete. The CP150 also supports STAT ECGs, a feature which allows you to conduct ECG tests right away without entering patient information first. Touch STAT to take the test immediately and follow the steps for a regular ECG after that. Spirometry is a plug-and-play optional feature which can be added to the CP150 at time of purchase or afterwards. Once the spirometer is plugged into the USB port, the spirometry button automatically appears on the home screen. Touch the spirometry button to open up the spirometry home screen with options to perform a new test, continue a test, or calibrate the spirometer. Per ATS or ERS guidelines, the spirometer must be calibrated every day on which spirometry tests will be performed. Connect the flow tube to the 3-liter calibration syringe. Touch the Calibrate button to initiate the calibration process and follow the on-screen prompts to calibrate the device. You can manage the spirometer configuration, reporting parameters, and more on the Settings tab. After accepting the calibration, touch the Forced Vital Capacity button which will prompt you to enter patient information and demographics. At this point, the patient should be ready to perform the maneuver. You can choose to view an incentive screen, flow volume, or other curves during the execution of the maneuver. Once the patient is ready, choose Start, Pre Number 1 to start the spirometry test. Press Stop when the test has been completed. Touch Accept or Reject depending on the results. Once the patient has performed three acceptable maneuvers, touch Pre-Test Done to complete the test. Now you can choose to print the test report or start a post-test to perform post-medication efforts for the patient. Touch Done when you have completed the post-tests. After you go through the spirometer test, you can save and or print results. The test can now be saved to several different options, like internal device memory as a PDF on a USB mass storage device or as a PDF in a network folder. Although the clinician interface is simple and intuitive by design, the CP150 is highly configurable to the needs of your practice or hospital, IT systems, and connectivity platforms. The Settings tab is organized in several sections, ECG for general ECG test settings, Device tab for brightness, date, and time, Password protected Advanced tab for connectivity settings, including wireless and DICOM, and device and service settings for IT professionals and biomeds. The simple, fast, and connected CP150 offers significant value to help you run your practice more efficiently. Its built-in and optional features are designed to improve your workflows through flexible connectivity options, built-in wireless capabilities, and much more. If you have questions about the CP150, please call your local Welch Allen representative or visit us online at www.welchallen.com.